Who the are you? I'm the guy doing his job. You must be the other guy. This is one of my favorite lines from this movie. Here we go. Make no mistake, Boston proud. Hey, welcome back to Hanging with the Herons. My name is James. On another 365 movies in 365 days, in 3 minutes and 65 seconds, we have The Departed. Man, I am excited about this Scorsese film. It is incredibly done, super intelligent, such a mind work of a film. It's fantastic. I love this film in its intricacies and its back and forth. The performances are perfect. The directing, immaculate. The storyline is excellent. This is a superb film, and if you haven't seen it, I don't know why. Everyone who loves film has to have seen this film by now. The language in it is brilliant. The music in it is great. Dropkick Murphys love that band. A excellent, perfect production of a film. Let's get to that cast. This is an all-star cast. We have Leonardo DiCaprio. You can almost see him age in this film, in the stress of his life. He's superb. Matt Damon, we just went through a series with him. He's fantastic. A nice role for him. Similar to almost the talented Mr. Ripley. Jack Nicholson. Oh man. Is this guy just he's incredible, the things he's doing with his hands and his face and just expressions, just everything that Jack Nicholson does. It's so fascinating and you don't know if it's just because he's crazy or he's just brilliant or probably a combination of both. He's sublime in this film. Man, I love Mark Wahlberg. And in this film, just all around BA, hilarious, fantastic, great Bostonian, does his city proud. Excellent job, Mark Wahlberg. Martin Sheen, just a classic actor and does a superb job in his role. He's solid. He's such an anchor for Leonardo DiCaprio. Ray Winston is a force to be reckoned with. Just so strong, so impressive, so dry. I love him in this role. He's fantastic. Vera Farmiga is beautiful and excellent in this. So smart, so interesting, so real. I love her in this role and I really love the way that she grows in the role. That's excellent. And last but not least, one of my all-time favorite actors, Alec Baldwin. Absolutely love and adore him. He's superb in everything he does. So witty and just does an excellent, intelligent performance and just such charm as we all know Alec Baldwin to be very charming. He's great in this as well. Let's get to those quick fire facts. So here's something really fun. If you remember the episode Black Mass that we did, this is actually the same gangster. They just named him Frank Costello, the one that Jack Nicholson is playing, when Johnny Depp played him as the actual gangster Whitey Bulger. So that's really cool. I never knew that until today, and it's really neat to see two different phenomenal actors, Depp and Nicholson, play such a strong, powerful role and do it so differently. Nothing new to these guys. Both an excellent job and such a different portrayal of the same story, which is really cool if you watch both of them and to see the similarities is awesome. I'll need to check out the film White Heat with James Cagney in it. It's a 1949 movie that reminded Scorsese of this film and which is the main reason he agreed to do it, which is awesome and Scorsese is just superb. Both Dennis Leary and Ray Liotta were chosen for the parts of Mark Wahlberg played before he got the role. He actually got nominated for an Oscar for this film. Speaking about some of that star power, the budget for the film was $90 million and half of that went to the acting talent, which is impressive. And final quick fire facts, Scorsese won his actual Oscar from this film and it's his first and only Oscar, which is hard to believe, but what a fantastic film to win one on. Thank you so much for joining me, James, on another 365 movies in 365 days and 3 minutes and 65 seconds. You've been hanging with the Herons. As always, comment below. Tell me how much you love this movie or what your thoughts are about it. And if you haven't seen it, you must see this film and come back and let us know what you think. As always, peace. <laughs>